Hi guys, so today, um, I don't know what I'm going to call this video specifically, but this can be for guys or girls just because, guys, if you're looking to buy your girlfriend something, you know, this is a good guide as to what to get them. Um, I think I'm going to call it jewelry essentials, especially specifically for earrings. Uh, I was wearing some, some earrings the other day and somebody gave me a compliment on them and asked me like, you know, where I where, where they could go find them or you know what were my suggestions so I thought you know what that would be a really good video to make so what I'm gonna show you guys is what I think are good jewelry essentials I see a lot of people buying costume jewelry all the time and that's great but honestly do you really want to spend that much money on just crap to be honest with you just so you can have it for different looks i mean if that's your thing that's fine but in my opinion for my style i do like some certain pieces of costume jewelry but i just like the essentials because you end up wearing the same thing over and over and over pretty much so isn't it better to invest your money in a few really nice pieces that you really like and that are unique instead of buying a bunch of stuff that probably some of that you're going to throw out so Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to talk about these earrings that I have on right now. And these are, you can find them, you can't find them these big, to be honest with you, but you can find other studs like this. Uh, a nice pair of plain cubic zirconia studs. And the reason why I say cubic zirconia is because if these were diamonds, they would be really, really expensive. So, um, yes, if you can afford diamonds, go get yourself some diamonds like this. But if you can't, a good nice pair of cubic zirconia studs like this. I love big ones, but big ones or small ones are a staple in any kind of girl's wardrobe. And guys, you can give your ladies this and they will be very appreciative and very happy about it. So I keep moving around here. Okay. Huh. Um, yes, I love the big ones because I'm all about big ones. But if you like the little tiny ones, go get yourself some little tiny ones. They have them in round shape or a square shape. I got these at a store called Glitz. Um, it's just, it's not a chain store or anything like that, but I think you can find it at Claire's, some at Claire's, maybe not as huge as these. You can get them sterling silver if you wanted to, or you can just get them regular, nothing special. Um, they make any outfit that you want just that bit, like, more elegant. You know, whatever you're wearing, if you're wearing jeans or you want to just look very sophisticated, go for some studs like these they will make a world of a difference and your look will just look so much i don't know there's just a sophistication about it so go get yourself some like this or i'm looking here at the side because i have my jewelry box right here so let me let me get this here Whew. okay let me open my jewelry box here and let me show you some other studs that i think and i'm moving around but that's okay okay so studs um you can get them like this of course or you can get them smaller, like these. These are little small ones, small square ones. And I actually got these at Claire's. Uh, I got them at Claire's a while back. They're smaller and they are sterling silver. Or I got them at, um, I got some that are, that are from the store Icing. I don't know if you have that uh, close to you, but I'm just telling you where I got them. These are little tiny, um, I don't know if you can see that because it's so bright, it's so bright. Well, these are little round ones, okay? Little round ones, and they're also in sterling silver. So studs like that are great, or little tiny studs like these, which I got a long time ago at a different store. These are actually titanium little studs that look like this. Um, it just has a little tiny um, cubic zirconia in the center, and it's very simple and plain and just dresses up anything if you want to look, you know, chic, but not like blingy bling. Um, okay, so that's the first staple. Some really nice studs like that. The other thing that I would recommend um, for any girl's wardrobe is some hoops. Because let's face it, hoops are awesome, they're beautiful, and there's always a day when you just feel like wearing hoops. So I would recommend, me personally, some silver hoops and some gold hoops. So get yourself a really nice pair of sterling silver hoops and a really nice pair of gold looking hoops if you can these hoops i've had for a very long time i love them on um this is what they look like this is how big they are put them close to my face there you can see them in my hair um they are sterling silver they're very comfortable they're pretty lightweight to be honest with you because i do not like heavy earrings at all if you do go for it but get yourself a nice pair of silver hoops and at the same time i have some gold hoops here they are actually gold a friend of mine got these for me 
Um, they are beautiful. They are hollow inside and they are, well, there we go. They are hollow inside and they, they're so light. Uh, the only downside to these is that I got a dent in them once uh, because they are hollow inside, but they are actually gold. And with the right outfit, and if you're wearing black, and I'm trying to look for the dent and I can't find it, um, they are just a beautiful staple piece. So go get yourself some silver hoops and go get yourself some gold hoops. And if you do not want to get yourself some silver hoop or if you can't get yourself some silver hoops or some gold hoops you can get some hoops that are just like cheaper hoops that you can wear casually like these hoops that I have that I've had for a while that are larger hoops but they are just um cheap hoops <laughs> okay uh they they aren't sterling silver or anything like that I don't exactly know what they are but they're flat so get yourself some hoops in a medium to large I don't like super huge hoops because I am terrified that somebody is going to pull them and they're going to, you know, make my, my, um, my, my, my hole. You know what I'm saying? I can't think right now. Like, they're just going to break it or, or just make it really long and like disgusting looking. So I am scared of that and that's why I will not wear huge shoes. But if that doesn't bother you, then <laughs> get yourself some huge hoops. Um, okay. The other staple is get yourself a really nice good pair of earrings in the sense that get, get yourself something authentic so save your money and get yourself something that is real if you know what I mean as in like either get yourself some gold hoops or get yourself gemstone that you can have forever and ever and ever that you can cherish and can be special to you or that some if you're a guy that you can give your girlfriend or your wife or whatever you know something that she will remember I have these I've had them for so long and they are real amethysts. This is what they look like. They're so tiny. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? They're like a little, um, they're studs. They're a little, uh, teardrop shape. And they are real. And they are real gold. And they're, they're authentic amethysts. And I've had them forever. <laughs> And sorry about that. And I'll keep them forever. And it's just, you know, something that I absolutely love. And I will remember and cherish forever and ever and ever and ever. So get yourself something like that. Um, then what I also recommend is get yourself some kind of funky jewelry. Because sometimes you are in the mood to, you know, look punk or look funk or something like that. So get yourself something fun. Uh, whatever it is. I have some spider earrings that I will... I don't know if you can see this either... I hope you can. There. I don't know if you can see it. Um, get yourself some little, like, cool earrings. I have some little spider earrings that are so neat. I have some little, you know, ant stud earrings that are so neat as well. Um, I also have some little ladybug earrings. Let me pull this out. I have some little ladybug earrings that are so cute. Uh, that, you know, I have some little, some little turtle earrings. Turtle earrings are so cute. Get yourself something that's fun, that you enjoy wearing, that it's neat and cool. Um, who's calling me? Okay. And then, let's see, what else, what else do I have for you guys? Then, I would also say, if you're going to get yourself some costume jewelry, because, you know, we all are, and I do, do have some pieces, I usually like to get uh, dangly earrings, dangly earrings that don't cost that much money that I don't really care if anything happens to them or if I lose them or whatnot. So I'm going to show you some that I actually like and some that I've gotten at Forever 21 and someplace else. Which, yeah, Forever 21. So these are it. Uh, dangly earrings like this. I like these kind of earrings sometimes if you want to dress up an outfit and you don't really care if, you know, anything happens to these earrings and you're going somewhere or you're going out at night and you're like, if I lose it, I don't care. So I have these pairs, which are cute. And then I have these other pairs, which are very nice as well. I have these, like this. And then I have myself some hoops, too, that are costume, which I got at Nordstrom, which I adore. I love these. Look at these. These are so fun. They're so, so fun. Some of my favorites right here. And then... I have, um, I have these here too, which are some of my favorites. I've had it for a few years. 
these kind of hoops like this that are so cute and cool. So I like those. So get yourself some fun costume jewelry that you really don't care too much about. And um, yeah, the other thing I would recommend is get yourself some, some turquoise earrings because turquoise is very versatile and it goes very well with different skin tones and you can be more casual or more elegant with them. And I just love these turquoise earrings that I have right here. They're like little stars. They're very cute and they're very comfortable to wear and they're like a pop of color on my ear. So that's cool. And last but not least, if you're looking for any kind of like ear cuff, I do love ear cuffs. I got these a long time ago, so I don't remember, but I have these little silver ear cuffs that sometimes if I want, I'll just put right here. And you know, if I'm feeling punky or funky, I will use that. So those are all my suggestions and those are the main kinds of earrings that I would suggest for you to have as well as like, let me just add one more because I'm looking here. Something that's dangly but that's small like this, you know, that maybe is a crystal. These are so nice and cute and they are um, Swarovski crystals. So they're a little bit more expensive but there's always an occasion for this and you'll always look nice and refined with these. So go get yourself something like that as well. And yeah, so that, and that was my jewelry box. Um, those are my suggestions, and I think that if you guys got a pair of each of those or something similar to those, you really don't have to go out and buy a bunch of just junk jewelry that you will probably only wear once and then never wear again, or it will tarnish on you, or it will look crappy, or after a while it will make your ear itch, because you know, if you are sensitive to some kind of metals, you know, your ears can itch. That happens to me, um, that has happened to me in the past, and so... I steer clear of things that I don't know if they're sterling silver or not. They're, they're made of sterling silver or not. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Not down, but up. <laughs> and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. And thank you for watching. And until next time, 